So what do you, what do you think? What do you think that the result was tonight for you, Luke? Well, you know, first of all, let me wish uh, Rob uh, lots of success uh, uh, in this new uh, journey to Queens Park. And uh, all I can say is that I had the most uh, wonderful eight years uh, of my life serving the people in our family in Queen West uh, with absolutely no regrets. And uh, the people have spoken, and, uh, you know, it's democracy. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, the sun will rise tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll carry on. So you're, con so you're conceding the election tonight then with, with just a few handful of polls left to come in, 13 polls left? You don't well, you know, uh, I mean, at this stage, uh, you know, there's quite a spread, and I'm not sure that, uh, you know, we'll be able to make it up. But, I mean, uh, if the polls tell something different tomorrow morning, <laughs> we'll worry about it. But, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, at this stage, uh, it does, uh, you know, it wasn't all that promising. Well, we won't, Lou, it's uh, uh, Peter Delaney calling. Uh, talking to you, uh, Lou. As uh, you reflect, maybe it's just a little too soon. But uh, what, what do you think were some of the the issues you had to face that was really preventing you from uh, making some headway and gaining momentum uh, during this campaign, as you uh, 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 in the last four weeks? Well, Peter. I mean, you know, obviously we have to make some tough decisions as a, as a government, like uh, most other governments do when they're in power. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, you know, some of those decisions, uh, maybe we didn't do a good job uh, putting them forward uh, to explain to people what it's, uh, what it's about. Yes. And uh, people took some stuff at face value. And uh, so, uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to second guess. I know we had a, a fantastic campaign team. And, that, you know, uh, as, as this comes to a close, uh, I'm not sure we could have done anything different that would have made any difference. Mm -hmm. So having said that, uh, you know, people have spoken, and, and I'm going to say democracy is alive and well. Well, Lou, and I appreciate that it's being very generous of you, but I do want to say, uh, having served as mayor from a lot of the years that you were in power uh, and representing us, uh, I want to thank you on behalf of the citizens of Coburg. And in fact, I was warden of the county for two, two terms. I want to thank you on behalf of Northumberland County for all the support you gave to Northumberland County and Quinney West during your time in office. Uh, it was really uh, well, uh, Peter, deeply appreciated. I certainly appreciate it. Like I say, I have enjoyed every minute of doing what I could for our community. Do you think the low voter turnout tonight uh, may have been a factor for you, Lou? Uh, maybe so. I mean, you know, we did have a lot of people say to me, well, you don't have to worry. And if that's the people that stayed home because they didn't have to worry, then, uh, you know, maybe that is. But, you know, we're not, gonna, we're not here to second guess uh, that the outcome. The outcome is the outcome. Well, I realize it's probably really early to ask you this, but any idea what you're going to be doing uh, after tonight? Oh. Well, I know that my wife's got a long list. <laughs> I haven't spent much time at home in the last eight years. So we'll tackle that first. And, uh, you know, we still have a family business. Uh, maybe I'll give my son uh, a little bit of a hand that I haven't been able to give him for the last uh, seven or eight years. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, probably taking it easy for a little while probably is probably the wise thing to do right now. Hey, Lou, it's Jim Hunt. And uh, yep. uh, I've always said, and you know it, that uh, you are an honorable and decent man. And uh, I think the uh, constituents of uh, Northumberland Quinney West have, have been very fortunate to have you serve them for all these years. Well, and I, uh, and I, uh, and I thank them for allowing me to do it for eight years because, like I said, it was uh, uh, one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. Well, on behalf of TV Kojiko, Lou, I want to thank you for the, for the eight years of, of appearing on our broadcast on, on uh, Queen's Park Report and, and the insight you managed to bring, and also the access that you allowed, just, not just myself, but TV Kojiko's crews as well, to, to not only yourself, but to Queen's Park. Well, like I say, it was once again, I, I hate to repeat it, but it's been a, a, a total pleasure and uh, I, I would, uh, no regrets whatsoever. Well, again, thank you very much, and, okay, and uh, take care, you have a good evening, good and, and, and good luck.